Hey Star Wars fans, this is Eric Pfeiffer from TwinSonsOutpost.com. Thank you for joining us again. We are here in the action figure room of my personal collection. Today is part two, and we're going to be doing action figure reviews of Factory Mistakes. So the first figure we're going to talk about is this Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Vintage Collection from 2010. This is in Pack of the Clones Obi-Wan Kenobi, and this figure was actually packaged incorrectly. As you can see, Obi-Wan is packaged upside down. Not only is Obi-Wan upside down, but his comlink, actually his comlink is right side up, and then the figure itself is upside down, uh, including his lightsaber and everything else. So, a pretty decently made figure, it's just packaged wrong. And this is something that I found at a comic book store. And it's really not worth a whole lot more money, just because of this factory mistake, but something still cool to add to your collection. The next one I want to talk about is this Black Squadron TIE Pilot. As you can see from here, probably exactly the same. This is from the Build-A-Droid set, which came out in 2013. The Toys R Us outlet stores recently had a resurgence of these, so if you haven't gotten them yet, maybe you can go there and find them. Uh, but what I found when I opened my case up is that this one was on the wrong card. This one was actually on a 212th Clone Trooper card, and this one's on the correct card. So I actually had the wrong one before I even got the right one. Uh, but as you can see, the back of the cards uh, work with the corresponding um, figure that it's supposed to have. So this one, this card is the 212th card backing. This one is the TIE Pilot card backing. And obviously, this is not a 212th clone trooper. It's the same exact figure that's in this bubble. Uh, but something's still cool. You never know because you, these factories are doing all sorts of things. They're working real hard. And sometimes they make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. But as a collector, it's something cool to see in the stores. So once again, thank you for joining me and TwinSonsOutpost.com for our action figure reviews. Uh, make sure to come back next week. We're going to be doing our part three, which is going to be packaging differences.